so downtown Linden is coming together really, really nicely. But what is going to prove to be a bit of a problem is the economy. Now, in saying that, I mean, long term, it's going to be a problem. We're currently losing $1.7 million per month. We currently have $72.4 million in the bank. So we have some time before we're going to run out of money. But I do think it's about time that we maybe bring taxes up to 6%. I might go so far as saying 7%. I'm pretty sure that's gonna keep people relatively happy. And then if we take a look, we're now sitting on negative 1.2 million dollars. So immediately we have taken out a big chunk of our expenses by just increasing taxes by 2% across the board, which is now bringing us $3.3 million in taxes alone. But there are some other things we can do. We could go around and increase the service fees for things like parking or electricity or water, garbage, healthcare, education, and public transport, but I don't necessarily want to do that. What I'm tempted to do is rely on service trade instead, because as it stands, we're only consuming about 336,000 cubic meters of water per month. We are producing 629,000 cubic meters. So we have an excess, which means we could, in theory, export that for a bit of money. So that's where some of these map tiles that we have available are going to come into play. We have 91 that we can unlock. And let me tell you, we're going to be unlocking a lot of these today. But I'm going to go ahead and grab all of these ones, mostly these ones at the top, because I just want a nice straight line there. And these ones here towards the end of the map, because something you can do in City Skylines too, is go ahead and get yourself some pipes and we can run them from say, right about here, right to the edge of the map and create an outside connection for water and sewage, which means very, very quickly, assuming I've actually connected these properly, which I actually don't think I, oh, I have connected them properly. There we go. So now we're exporting 290,000 cubic meters of water every single month. Which means if we go and have a look here, our service trade eventually should start to show us some money coming in for exported water. There we go. $12,745. It's not that much. It could be better. And we can make it better by essentially going in here and saying, you know what? I want to get another couple of water pumping stations. So one right about there. We can do one right about there. And you know what? We'll do one right about there as well. We'll go for three more doubling our water intake here at Linden Water Treatment. And then if we have a look, we're now exporting 618,000 cubic meters of water. So in theory, we should be doubling the amount that we're getting from the exported water service trade, but it's probably going to take a while for that amount of money to climb. But if we look at the monthly balance, we're down to negative 1 million. We've already knocked so much. OK, now we're doing we're doing pretty well there. We've, we've knocked a lot off of it. This is going to fluctuate, obviously, because we're dealing with different taxes and different buildings coming and going. We have different service fees and subsidies and all that good stuff. There's, there's a lot of work still to do here, but we are making progress already. And speaking of Linden water treatments, we are doing okay in terms of sewage treatment right now. So I'm thinking it might be about time that we come over towards the college and we get rid of these guys, because apparently I haven't done that yet. And... They need to go. They, they, <laughs> they, they really need to go. We'll go into underground mode. We'll get rid of the pipes as well. And I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure we're going to have some problems getting rid of these guys, but I do want to get rid of them. And if we have a look, are we doing okay? We actually seem to be doing okay. That's fantastic news. All right. That's, that's good. I was a, a little bit worried getting rid of those things would cause problems with sewage. Let's have a bit of a look at our sewage treatment right now. Ah, it is going to cause problems. We are producing 336,000. We're processing 308. So eventually we're going to run into problems. But what I'm thinking I'm going to do is instead of building more outlets or building another wastewater treatment plants, we're going to continue to play around with the budget. We're going to go to services. We're going to go to water and sewage, and we're just going to increase the budget to 150 percent, which in theory should mean that water and sewage, well, sewage treatment is OK right now. Water exports have gone up as well, which is kind of fantastic news. And I'm curious to see how that's doing in here. 35,000. We might not actually be exporting that much water. 42,000. We, hmm. I might be, <laughs> I might be putting all of my eggs into the wrong basket right here, but we'll give it a shot. We'll give it time. There's plenty more that we need to do today.
and specifically, I'm thinking I want to do some stuff with production because we haven't leaned into this too much recently, and we are running a deficit on just about everything right now, including wood, of which we have a couple of lumber yards, but they're apparently not doing enough, and that includes livestock as well, which has a pretty substantial deficit, despite the fact that we have some farms. So I'm thinking I'm going to turn this valley into a bit of a specialized industry hub, essentially. And I think it would be kind of cool to have another outside connection to the region down here as well. So my thinking, essentially, is that we're going to use a lot of these map tiles that are available. We're going to come through here. We're going to grab all of these ones. And I'm going to grab these guys as well. Going, you know what? We'll just go down here or something like this. And we'll go down here something a bit like, let's see, this should be fine as well. I could just grab these all a little bit neater than I'm doing right now. Maybe something like that. We don't need these mountain tiles, to be completely honest. It's it's a bit of a waste. We need this one, though. Let's just go and grab all of those. I think we need these ones as well. Probably these guys, too. Just to be nice and safe. There is, there is method to my madness, by the way. I'm not just picking these randomly. We'll go for... We'll go for that. I think that's pretty solid. That's going to be 60 out of the 73 available. 3.3 million to do this. And I guess since we have 13 left, let me go and grab these guys. And let me go and grab, do I want these guys? I don't think I do. I think we're okay. We'll get up to the river right there. That's fine. We don't really need much more space. Maybe these ones just to sort of even this off a little bit. Maybe these guys, that leaves me 70. That's actually 73 or 73. Okay, 4.9 million. Let's purchase. We have all of this space to play with. And like I said, there is method to my madness because if we go and have a look at specialized industry, we have some farmland down here. We actually have a decent amount of farmland, so we can get our livestock, our grain, our vegetables, and textiles. There's obviously plenty of forestry. And there's also some stone mining up here, which I'm kind of excited about, which is going to be good for coal and ore as well. And then oil just so happens to be here as well. So this valley is going to be used for all of those things. But before we do that, we're going to need an outside connection because I do want traffic to be able to go straight out of the region without having to hit this highway. But I do want it to be able to hit this highway. So this intersection needs to go and it needs to be replaced. But obviously, in order to do that, we're going to have to flatten some terrain. So we're going to come through here and just flatten this out as best we possibly can. We're going to flatten a lot more land than we're going to be using for this. But I want to make sure that whatever intersection we place here is going to be placed properly. You might have noticed it does mean that we've had to get rid of the bridge going into the city. That is going to have to be replaced because that was kind of the major entrance to the city. But we'll go ahead and flatten all of this out. We'll go into our roads. We'll go into our intersections. And honestly, I'm thinking this one. I kind of really love this roundabout interchange. And I think it's going to be absolutely perfect for what I want to do. So if I could line this thing up as best I possibly can with the roads on the right and then put it somewhere like right about there... I think that's going to do the job. It's roughly in the same place as the old one. I might actually shuffle it over a little bit so the roads on the right can get in here a bit easier. And we'll go for, I'm going to say about there. I think that's that's going to be our spot for this thing. And it does, you know, it dips down. It's got a roundabout. It looks good. It's a really good looking interchange. I really, really do like it. So I think that's that's probably fair enough. So we'll get this thing connected as quickly as we can. We'll actually go ahead and just get a smoothing brush to try and level this out a little bit. We can hit the edges of all of this with a, you know what? Give me a much bigger smoothing brush right here so that we get this all nice and level, nice and neat, just the way we want it to be. A little bit more natural looking as well. So it has this hill going up to the interchange, which I think that looks fine. I think that's okay. Let's get these guys connected and let's get the highway flowing. Then we'll get a connection into the city and then we're going out to the region. And there we go. We have ourselves a new connection to the city. It's not quite as stylish as the old bridge, and I do sort of miss the old bridge, but I do think this is going to serve us really well in the future because we're going to have a regional connection with this thing. It's going to probably be a little busier than it should be, but 
I like this. It's a really smooth curve as well. It just, it just looks kind of cool. And honestly, I could probably get some roads under there as well. I'm actually really excited to build around this thing and see what kind of chaos we can cause with it. But for now, let's get that regional connection going and let's get all of this new industry in here as well. And wouldn't you know, it's getting to that time of year when the snow wants to start coming through. Okay, we can deal with that. What we're going to be doing here, quite simply, is following the river. So we're going to go with a nice sort of continuous curve on this whole thing. And I'm going to start right about here, right about the source of the river. And I'm going to probably want to turn off my guidelines and my 90 degree angles because I want this to be a really nice flowing road. I was thinking that I would save building this road until we'd gone ahead and built the all of the industries because I wanted the industries to kind of dictate where the road would go. But the road is just going to follow the river, so it doesn't really matter all that much. Uh, I do sort of want it to come up alongside here as well. I do want a nice little bridge in here. So we'll go for something a bit like this for now. It does go slightly uphill there, which is totally fine. It's going to cut across here and then I want it to sort of... I think I kind of want it to almost hug the... Uh, the mountains a little bit. So we'll sort of come down like this. We'll turn on our contour lines as well so we can really see what we're doing. It's going downhill a little bit there. We'll go like this. We'll sort of come around the base of the hill, which it's really hard to see if it's an incline or not. It's 1.9. Let's do like 1.5. In fact, let's just go to here. So again, it's kind of hugging the base of this whole thing. I don't want it to go over this way, obviously. And the reason I'm building it out like this is because I want to use all this forestry for, well, forestry. And so I guess we will turn on a 90 degree bend here and we'll go something like this. And that's where it's sort of going to go across the water. In fact, I might bring it down a little further so it goes across there. I don't know. I don't know if we need to do that. I want to use these uh, two lane truss arch bridges for all of my crossings as well. So I'm going to have to try and get those to uh, to work. They don't quite work unless they're a little bit higher up. So let's have a bit of a look. Will five meters do it? Five meters will not do it. Let's see. What about 10 meters? Is that going to be enough? So 10 meters absolutely will do. We're going to want to flatten the terrain out a little bit as well to make this happen. So I think you know what? Let's do let's do the bridges now rather than later. So we'll go ahead and do I want to level out the entire way? I think I do. So we'll just sort of flatten this terrain right up to the edge of the water there. And that'll be fine. And on this side, it's kind of a similar story. We're going to flatten it right up to about there and that'll be fine. We'll go ahead and get ourselves a slope terrain tool from, let's say, this spot to this spot. We'll sort of curve it around like this. And that's how we're going to get down on that side. This one doesn't need to do that. So now, if I've done this properly, I'm wondering, can I get this to be ground level without it being weird? Is it going to let me do that? It's it's not. OK, so it does have to be elevated, which is actually kind of a pain that uh, this might backfire on me, but we'll find out. Ooh, actually, that's not too bad. We'll go ahead and do that. We've got our foundations there. <laughs> so, mm. I don't know about that. I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't know about that. Hold on. All right. So there seems to be some weirdness going on with the highway version of that bridge. There is a regular road version of it, though, that works really nicely. But I'm very tempted to use this one, which is the it's essentially a little covered bridge. It's going to be very, very slow for traffic, but it looks adorable. It does. It looks adorable. I'll tell you what we'll do with this. We'll build the covered bridge down there since it's a little bit more rural. And then I guess I hate saying rural Ugh. with my accent. It just doesn't work. Uh, we'll do we'll do the trust bridge here. We'll do the slower version. So traffic will have to slow down crossing this bridge, which I don't love, but I'm not expecting it to cause too many problems. It should be fine is what I'm thinking. It should be OK. So this ew, that's 10 meters up. Hold on a minute. Let's bring that down a little bit. We don't want to be 10 meters up. We want to go for like 2.5 if I can get away with it, which I absolutely can, which is fantastic. So we'll go ahead and build this guy right about. I'm going to say I'm going to say there should be fine. We shouldn't have issues. We are having issues with the terrain again. Maybe maybe 2.5 isn't what we want to go for. I don't. I don't know what's up with this. I gotta be honest, it worked fine when I tested it just a moment ago, and now I'm actually trying to do it for real and it just doesn't want to work for me. It's great. So 
what we'll do is get this to line up nicely in the middle right about there is that now i don't know it's you know what you know <laughs> you know what it's fine it's we'll make it fine it'll be okay and there we go we got our truss bridge and it's actually a highway which is fantastic traffic won't be slowing down on this thing which is exactly what we want so now let's just turn our attention to this one over here which is going to be a slower bridge oh boy so i think the easiest way to do this is going to be to flatten our terrain coming across like this and get ourselves kind of a nice little cliff right there so that's going to be nice and level for the road and then on the other side, I'm just going to go for a bit of a bigger brush and level everything to the same height. That way we're going, you know, one to one on heights across the river, which is exactly what we want to do. So we'll do a little something, something like that. That should be just fine there. We can smooth this out a little bit later on. That's not really important right now. Then all I need to do is get a nice straight road that's going to go basically like that. It is it's going down a little bit, but what we'll do actually is go to about here with it. We'll go and get ourselves that little uh, two lane wooden covered bridge. I love this thing so much. It's such a nice little bridge. And it's gonna go from about here. It's gonna go to about there. I'm gonna turn off my, actually I do kind of need those to be on so I can make sure this thing is actually in line with the road at the back, which it isn't. So now it is. I'm pretty sure that's going at the angle I want it to go at, which is perfect. So that's gonna be built right there. It lines up with the other road already, which I don't necessarily want it to do. So we're going to take this road back just a little bit. And then we'll connect all this together. And hopefully in doing this, we're going to create ourselves just a nice little, just a nice little road. That's all I'm looking for. So that's going to be elevated at the end. That's fine. I might want to do something with that terrain. I'm not sure that's going to look all that good, but we'll figure that out. We're going to go from here. And can I... I should probably smooth this before I try and do anything, shouldn't I? So let's get a bigger brush. We'll go for 100. We'll go from here. We're going to go to there. And we're just going to say smooth that out. Give me a nice gradual curve up to the bridge right about there. Should be perfect. So getting this connection going, we want to get ourselves a regular curve. We're just going to come straight out until we line up with that road, which is right about there. I don't know that I love this connection, but... I think I'm going to just leave it like that. I think that's fine. So if we hit this with a smoothing brush around the edges, I want to see what it looks like. It's, uh, ooh. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that all of a sudden. Um, hmm. We'll hit this with a smoothing brush as well. It was kind of nicer when it was a bit steeper, but we'll kind of leave it be. There's an auto save going in. That's what, the la that's what the lag spikes are. I feel like I need to justify that every time. It's the game auto saving. I've had those on. I've changed them for every five minutes, every 10 minutes. Um, I mean, for one, I'm noticing that the pillars, at the ends of this thing <laughs> aren't, aren't actually hitting the ground. Uh, that's not good. All right. I might need to tweak this a little bit. Oh, there we go. I've managed to fix the pillars. All I had to do was bulldoze the bridge and then rebuild it. But I think what I'm also going to do is bring this terrain back up a little bit and then hit it with a smoothing brush again so that I can maybe have these roads look a little bit less terrible. So I'm going to grab a couple of points just like this as well. So we can hit this and hopefully have something that just doesn't look quite as as sharp as we had there. So if I just hit this all with a nice smoothing brush, is this kind of doing what I want it to do? It, it sort of is. I think hitting this with some trees as well will help. I think it'll hide our uh, our crimes a little bit. That might be the first time I've used that phrase in City Skylines too. I'm not 100% sure. But if you do happen to be, if you do happen to be new around here, hiding crimes is kind of my whole thing in City Skylines. It's, uh, it's not a phrase that I come up with. If you've been here for a while, you'll know exactly where it comes from. It comes from a guy named Adam Savage. You might know him from Mythbusters or the Tested YouTube channel. When it comes to making, like, when he makes things, he'll use detailing to, like, hide the crimes. It's like hiding the seams, essentially. You know, so you use lots of detailing to hide your crimes. And in this case, I'm going to use lots of detailing just to hide how ugly this uh, this whole thing is. So what kind of trees have we got out here? That's alder, alder. We've got some alder trees. We've got alder and spruce by the looks of it. A couple of pine trees. So we'll stick with those. I think that's going to be European, which makes sense. It's a European themed map. We'll go for a bit of a smaller brush. We'll stick to 50% strength. And I'm going to hit just around here with a bunch of alder trees. Again, because when these things grow, they're friggin' huge. 
So we'll get a bunch of them around here. We'll get a bunch of them around here as well. And we'll go and get just a few spruce trees in there as well, just for a bit of variety. And it's going to take about a year, I think, for these things to actually get to the full height, which is totally fine. We'll get some pine trees in there as well. Again, just to uh, just to hide those crimes a little bit. And I love kind of throwing these flower bushes in here. I think they really they make things feel a lot more, I don't know, dense and, and overgrown. So we'll get a bunch of those into this space as well, even though they don't really exist anywhere else out here. And so that leaves us with two things to do. We need to connect this end of the road out to the region. And we need to connect this end of the road out to the rest of the highway. So we're going to start with this end since it's going to be a little bit more straightforward. And all I'm going to do is have this guy sort of come over this way, follow the contour lines ish to about there. And now I need to connect it to, I mean, that's a big gap, obviously, but what I'm going to do is we're going to get the four lane highway. We're going to come off of here in a relatively nice straight line for a little bit. And then I just need to connect these guys together. So I think what we'll do is we'll bring this guy over rather than bringing the uh, the two lane road over to uh, to meet it here. So we'll sort of go this way. We're going to be going downhill a little bit, which is fine. And that's probably a gap that I can play around with in terms of just a straightforward curve, right? Is that too far away? It might be. Let's bring you over a little bit further just so I can get this to, uh, to work the way I want it to. So over to about there should be fine. I'm really hoping it's going to let me just get a straight shot over. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. So 291 meters there, and it's going to be 383 there. That's totally fine. So those now connect together. That'll give traffic plenty of options to change lanes and go where it wants to go. And then for this end of things, it's going to be a little bit more cheesy. So the way the regional connection is going to work, I, I'm actually really tempted to try and snake it up this hill and sort of through this little valley. I was, I was going to go underground. I was going to do that. But suddenly, I, how steep are we talking here? What, that's a 30, <laughs> maybe not. I'd have to, I would have to weave this back and forth, wouldn't I? But honestly, I'm really tempted to try. I think it could look really cool if we did. I don't, I <laughs> don't know about this. I'm going to try. I'm going to. We're going to this this might this might be one of those things where I try this and I then delete it just so we're clear. This might be a terrible, terrible idea, but we're going to try this. So that's like I need my I need my gradient to be like I'm going to say six percent at most. There's five. Actually, five's pretty good. Let's do let's aim for five. So there's a five percent gradient there. And then. Oh, man, <laughs> I don't I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. Um, yeah, that's going to be, I don't know if we've got enough room to do it here. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> I don't know about this. Hold on. This, like I said, this might be one of these things that just doesn't happen. In fact, I almost wonder if I could carve through here, kind of like a, a valley. What is this going to look like if we just do something like this and then hit that with a smoothing brush? I don't think it would look so bad because we do have sort of a natural valley coming through here. I think I can probably... I mean, that is still ridiculous. Oh my God, that's steep. What is the, <laughs> hold on a minute. What is the gradient on that road? If I was to go like, hold on a minute. Let me just get a nice straight section of road here for a second. That is 19%. Oh man, that's, um. yeah, we're going to do a tunnel. We're going <laughs> to, we're going we're gonna to do a tunnel. We're going to just fix this is what we're going to do. And uh, we'll do a tunnel. Because a tunnel is uh, way better. Okay, I take that back. It's not going to make for a good YouTube thumbnail. It doesn't look as good as I thought it would. But it looks cool. We've got cars like already coming in from the region. They're already going to be heading through along this beautiful little road. I absolutely love how this thing looks. And I'm really excited to see more traffic using it. But this is just the beginning, really. This is just, this is just the infrastructure for what we're going to be actually building out here. I also really want to see a car come along and use this this little bridge. I want to see how drastically they slow down because I think it goes from 100 to like, see, yeah, from 100 miles and 100 kilometers per hour, probably. So yeah, EU, 100 kilometers per hour to 30. So, yeah, that's going to be a bit of a drastic change, but it looks good. So I suppose we should get into the industries that this whole thing is for. What I'm thinking I'm going to do is get ourselves a livestock farm 
right about here. And I'm not going to be building these guys with road connections just yet. I'm just going to place them sort of roughly where I think they should be. And that's going to be our livestock farm. I'm thinking down here could probably be... Well, we could do grain. We could do anything, really. We could do textiles, I suppose, just to be a little bit different. We'll do textile farming. Let's rotate this thing around so it's more like here. That way, we're going to have to bring the road sort of up to this guy, which is completely fine by me. We can probably connect some roads together. It's going to be gravel roads, obviously, for a lot of this. And so that's livestock. That's textiles. We'll do grain farming just out here. It doesn't need to be the biggest farming area that we've ever had. So we'll do grain farming let's say there and we'll do vegetable farming let's say down here so that they are a little bit spread out right they're not right next to each other we'll go for like right about let's say right about there for the uh the vegetable farm and again we can bring some roads kind of around to meet these guys and that's going to be our farming locations so when it comes to forestry my thinking is relatively simple i'm going to do a road or a forestry zone somewhere like here, I think is is kind of a great spot for it. So we'll go for, I think, yeah, we'll go for right about there so we can get it right down on the water. And I do kind of want another one. And I'm thinking another one can go right across the water here. So it's going to be, let's say roughly that spot there. So that should be absolutely perfect. When it comes to stone and it comes to coal and it comes to ore, we have got some space up in this hill that I could potentially turn into some kind of strip mine, which would kind of mirror what I've done over here with the uh, with the roads. I don't know that I want to do that, but I do think out of all the resources that we're going to be you know looking for, I think stone is going to be the strip mine. So when it comes to coal and it comes to ore, we might actually want a little road for these guys. So we'll go ahead and get ourselves. Let's see. I think it was roughly here. So we'll just do... We'll just do this. This also needs to be ground level. So we'll just do something like this. We'll do a little 104 meters. Should be perfectly fine. In fact, you know what? Let's let's flatten this space out just so these guys are actually nice and level. I don't I don't love doing this. We've done so much terraforming today already, but I do want the space to be decent looking for for the mines, right? So it's going to be flattened. We'll smooth out the terrain once we actually go and, uh, you know, lay out these areas. But for now, we'll just do 104 meters. We'll go ahead and get ourselves our coal mine right here. We'll go ahead and get ourselves the ore mine right next to it. And that'll be fine. That'll be that'll be totally fine. Again, we'll smooth this out once we get to, you know, laying out the districts, the zones and all that good stuff. And I guess that just leaves us obviously with stone, but also with oil, which is very, very simply going to be, I'm thinking right about here for the uh, for the oil. So we'll build this guy. And then I just need to connect it all together with a bunch of gravel roads, which should be relatively easy. Obviously, the roads will snap to the fronts of the buildings, which I absolutely adore and appreciate. So we'll start by doing that just to get sort of a baseline for where the roads are actually going to be. On this side, similar story. We want to go and do this. And I suppose in terms of the connections to the little highway, we don't need to go too crazy with it. I don't think we need to do roundabouts. I think we can just do little straight shot connections and not really worry about it because there's probably not going to be that much traffic. So we'll also smooth this out so I can get uh, so I can get the road to be nice and level for this one. So right to about there, we'll do similar over here. I really didn't think about where these were going, did I? It's uh, it's a bit rough, but that's all right. Let's can I can I do like a nice gradual little curve up to this guy? I think I can, and then I can smooth it out again. I know I said I wasn't. <laughs> I keep talking about not wanting to do that much terraforming, and yet here I am, just constantly just bulldozing mountains like it's nothing. It's uh, it's a problem. This game has given me too much power, is what it's done. That's that's what's going on with City Skylines too. It's given me way too much power. All right, can I fix this? Can I make this look less terrible? Is that is that something we can get away with here? I think it is. It uh, yeah, you don't you'd almost never know if I hadn't recorded it and put it up on YouTube for everyone to see, you'd, you'd almost never know. So the way I'm thinking of doing all these connections is basically a little section of alley. So we still have a paved connection to the highway itself. And then we just switch it out to uh, gravel and bring it right down to the water like this and try to get these guys to line up as best we possibly can. So a simple little curve should be perfect for this guy. And that's gonna be a connection to one of the forestry zones. 
Now I've done exactly that over here as well. I did, you know, change this up a little bit so it's different looking. Essentially, we don't have that connection between the two farms anymore. And I'm thinking for these guys, we might do a couple of connections. So we'll have one sort of back here for this farm. We'll have one down here for this farm. Those two will be connected together. And then this one will also connect up to these guys since there's no highway up that way. For all of these guys, I'm thinking these two will probably be connected. We could do a little bridge in here, but I don't want traffic being weird about it. So we'll probably not be doing that. And so I guess in the simplest sense, we'll just get on with it and say that we're going to have a little bit of a connection, say here. It's a little bit steep. I don't love that it's a little bit steep, but it's a little bit steep. We could probably do something about that. Maybe a little, let's turn off our guidelines for a second. What about, what about something like that? That might be a little bit better. It's hard to see what the gradient is on it. Minus or negative 2% is actually okay. Negative 1.5 is better. So that's what we're going to go for. We'll switch out for gravel. We'll go for just a little bit of a straight section there, I think. We'll go for a bit of a curve like this. I could probably turn my guidelines back on, actually, and get just a perfect little curve out to this guy. Something like that is not bad at all. Goes along the river, which is exactly what I want. And then for this side, we can turn the guidelines back off and just sort of gradually, maybe a little bit of a straight section there, follow the curve of the river perfectly. Just a little bit more of a straight section there. And we'll gradually sort of bring it up like this and get ourselves a perfect little curve going right into the uh, the oil industry right about there. That's absolutely perfect. That is exactly what I'm looking for. Now, when it comes to power for all of this, I'm thinking wind turbine. When it comes to a water connection, we could potentially just do a water tower, or we could, if I really wanted to, just connect it to the city. I'm not too sure yet, but I guess I've got a little bit of time to decide what I'm gonna do. We have these guys still to connect, so let's very quickly get that done. And so just like that, we have all of these industries up and running. We have our mining up here. We have plenty of farms down here. We have some oil right here and some forestry right up here as well. The only thing we don't have is the stone mine, which I am still considering turning into a strip mine on this hill just so we have a little bit of detail in here, but I just don't know yet. Another thing I actually want to take a look at is just to make sure that these guys have all the employees that they need. And thus far, 16 of 16 is not bad in there. Looking in this way, how are we doing? 27 of 27. Very, very good. We have 13 of 13 right here. I love this one, by the way. I love that it follows sort of along the, the hills. I kind of tried to do the same thing over here with the oil, just a little bit less neat. I'm actually kind of surprised that these places are filling up as quickly as they are, given that there's no public transport out here, but I'm not really complaining about it either. It's it's definitely a good thing. 15 of 16 right there, 12 of 15 right there. It's not terrible. Could be better. And then out here, 12 and 19, again, could be better, but also could be a whole lot worse. I'm almost wondering if adding some kind of parking lot out here would be a bit of an idea. It might be a little bit unnecessary, but it probably wouldn't hurt to have some kind of parking out here. Obviously, probably don't need to do a large parking lot, but I might do one anyway, just to sort of fill the space. It looks a bit dumb, doesn't it? It, <laughs> it does. It does look a little bit dumb, uh, but you know, we'll, we'll have it there anyway, just to sort of fill the space. You would imagine there's going to be a lot of people going out to the mine there. So yeah, we'll have we'll have a parking lot, I suppose. And then if we have a look at production, we actually do now have a surplus of both coal and metal ore, which is fantastic. I'm not too sure if we're going to see a surplus of much else, to be completely honest. I think livestock might be something that we just need so much more of, but honestly, that's OK. We can deal with that eventually. It's not the end of the world, but I do want to take a second to have a look at some other means of making money. I'm also kind of concerned about the fact that some of these guys are collapsed. That's not good. So collapsed due to lack of maintenance. And then you're abandoned. Why? Poor education services. That's interesting. That's that's actually really interesting that we're seeing some poor education complaints. We're also seeing some medical complaints. We have a couple of guys abandoned up here as well. What is going on here? So you are small homes. That's a given. That's 100% going to be a given. I would imagine that part of the problem is going to be elementary. Yes, the problem is elementary, my dear Watson. 
we don't have enough elementary schools. So, ugh. man, we also probably could do better with college. I think, I think the lack of elementary schools is actually part of the reason that we're probably seeing college falling off a little bit. So, we might want to take a moment and do something about that. We could do sort of a little urban elementary school in this space if we wanted to. So I think in the way that we flattened this space out for that park in one of the previous episodes, I might sort of flatten a space out here for another elementary school because we only have two. We have one right in there and we have one over in the suburbs. We do have a lot of demand for low density residential as well. So we could by all means build another suburb, but I don't necessarily want to do that today. So I think what I will do is I'm going to go in here. I'm going to bulldoze these buildings just for now. They're not going to be thrilled about it, but they can, they'll live. They'll find somewhere else. And we're going to just flatten this terrain because the elementary schools, honestly, I might just have to, I might just bulldoze this entire block and flatten the entire thing out just because I can. I know I did all this detailing in here with the path. I say all this detailing. It's, it's a couple of paths. It's not, you know, it's not the end of the world, uh, but we will, we will do this. We'll just flatten all of this out and try and level it all off to something that's a bit more reasonable. So we'll take all of this out. That does cut off a one-way road, which is completely fine. Now, none of this is necessarily level, which is a bit of a problem, but I'm gonna flatten it out like this. And I know this is again leaning into the fact that I, I did say I didn't wanna do too much with terraforming and I didn't wanna use and abuse it, but I'm using and abusing it today because apparently that's just where we're at. Uh, I don't, I don't like placing large buildings on, on hills. It makes the terrain look worse in the long run. So this is kind of how we're going to deal with that. So when it comes to all of this, I think we will hit it with a bit of a larger smoothing brush just to try and get some of those edges a little bit better. This is, I mean, this is going to suck. This is, this is just going to be terrible regardless. Let's, let's get ourselves our avenue. We'll turn off our guidelines just so I can try and get it to line up as best as I possibly can. So it's going to come out like this and it does line up, which is good. The little one way road is going to come out like this right here. And that does line up as well. We, I don't know that I love the dip in that road. I'm going to be honest. I don't, I <laughs> so don't, I don't love that. Um, hmm. Uh, maybe we, maybe we do something about that as well. Let's, we got a few abandoned buildings. Let's, let's get rid of some of these sections of road and just tidy this up a little bit so that it looks a little bit better. So now it goes up like that. That's more what we're looking for. And this one goes to there, which is again more what we're looking for. That's nice and level now. This is something I can play with. Now, the interesting thing with this is this is a one-way road, Fraser Street going towards more Fraser Street. It does dip down here. I don't love that either. Man, I'm getting rid of so much. I'm getting rid of so, <laughs> I'm getting rid of so much right now. But it's going to be better in the long run because we're getting an elementary school in here. So run you out to there. It dips down a little bit. That's not the end of the world. We can go from here to about there. That's not the end of the world. It looks better. It does. It does now look better. It's a bit more level. Yes, there's a bump there, but it's not as drastic. I can live with this. Now, when it comes to the school, I'm not 100% sure what way to do this because we do have this all sort of looping around. This avenue is running into a dead end right now. So I almost wonder if we should, I mean, this kind of has to be one way. I might flip that over into an avenue. That might be the way to do it. Flip this into a regular one of these guys without the division in the middle. And that means that it can sort of run this way if we want it to. It does have a U-turn at the end, which is totally fine. I think that's better. I do. I, I think that's going to be better. And then for an elementary school, it's going to be as simple as just putting this guy right on the end of the road. That's nice and kind of in the middle between the two roads. There's three tiles on each side, which is perfect. So this guy is going to be expanded. It's going to be getting some of the children's clinics, which will be plus five health for students, which is absolutely fantastic. We can do one of those right there. We can do some playgrounds on either side as well, which is going to be plus 10% well-being within 300 meters, plus 5% well-being for students. And if I wanted to, I could do more of these guys. I don't really want to. I think that's probably fine. What we'll do, I suppose, actually, ooh, I know exactly what we can do here. It's going to be a little bit asymmetrical, 
but that's okay. We'll run a one-way road up like this. We can run a one-way road sort of out behind it as well. And then we'll run it down like this. So it all connects together. There's three tiles on this side, four on that side. That's okay. That gives us a nice road out and around the elementary school. It means this all sort of links together kind of nicely. I am sort of thinking this road could probably be changed out for a one-way road since the avenue is just going to U-turn anyway. So do this. And that kind of works. That absolutely, absolutely kind of works. I... I like that a lot. It just, it, it, I love how the roads connect in this game. I really do. I, I love that you can do this kind of thing. I love how you can see the lanes all doing their thing. I, I love it so much. But what I think we'll do very quickly is go ahead and get rid of the trees around the elementary school. We can make this thing look a little bit nicer. We'll get some zoning back in here. And then I want to say we're probably good for today. I'm maybe not going to touch on the quarry idea just yet. I think we can hold off on that one until I'm 100% sure what way I want to do it. But for now, let's go ahead and get our mixed use zoning back into these spaces. Let's just take it off of here, bring it across here. We can bring it. Oh, we probably should. We probably should put that park back in front of the of the school as well. What is this? Is this low rent housing? I think this was low rent housing. So we'll put that back in here. This is all going to be low rent housing as well. I don't think we have much demand for it right now, but that's okay. And then around the school, I don't really know what I'm going to do. I might, I might do some North American medium density housing. I'm also going to want to smooth a lot of this out. So we'll do, we'll do NA medium density for here. We'll do NA medium density. I guess we didn't zone anything on the outside there before, so we'll not start now. Let's just do the park and then we'll be okay. Let's not get too carried away. And there we go. We have ourselves an elementary school. It's not got the most detailing around it. And honestly, I probably should go and put some sports parks in here as well. But it does have a bus stop right in front, which was already running this way. So that's kind of fantastic news. We already have public transport to get here. And it is the bus line that runs around all of this space. So it has, oh my God, that looks so good. I love this space. I love how this has turned out. Sorry. I just... It's really cool with all the color. I, I love it. Anyway, uh, yeah, so the elementary school's good. Hopefully that's going to stop people from complaining. It'll take a while, but hopefully it'll work. And what's also cool is this bus has so many people on board. Quite a few of them did get off, but it immediately just fills up again. So that's uh, that line might actually need more buses. It has four right now, and it is... How are we looking? 301? Yeah. Let's go for, uh, let's just max it out with eight buses. It seems like it's going to be pretty busy, so we'll try and max it out a little bit and see if that helps us out just a bit. I will say, it is nice not having any traffic problems visible anywhere. Doesn't look like we have any in here. Is this road busy? It is kind of. It is, it is a little bit busy. I'm also, oh no, they all turned left. Okay, I just want to make sure that anyone going to the city is actually using the bridge here. So you're going that way where are you going though so you're going onto the highway and then none of you turned right okay so they are i would assume using the bridge if they're going straight into the city which yeah this guy for example perfect so this is working exactly the way i would want it to that is kind of amazing although while we're talking about that connection i am thinking i'm gonna build a bus line out to all of these industries i know it's a bit silly i know it's a bit weird i know it doesn't make that much sense but I'm going to do it anyway, because I want to make sure that people are actually able to get out to all of these guys and public transport might just happen to be the way to do that. So hopefully I can turn down the number of buses that are going to be coming out here because it is going to get a little bit silly if we have, you know, a million buses coming out this way. But at the very least, this is going to mean that we should hopefully see all of these industries with the... Uh, the maximum number of employees that they can possibly have. This one is 29 of 36, for example. This one has 21 of 23. So we can do better than that, is, is what I'm thinking. Now, I don't know how I'm going to connect out to this just yet. I haven't really decided on that. It is going to go from the central station, which, by the way, I very much want to move this thing to be closer to my train station. But 
we'll figure that out. Oh, man, how am I going to do this? Maybe what we do is we start by going as far away as possible. So it's going to go to there. And oh, man, it has to go to there as well. Hold on a minute. It's going to go to this one then. So it's going to go to there and then it's going to go to there and then it's going to go to this one which is fine. We're going to have to flip that. We might have to flip that to the other side of the road, but that's actually, no, that's okay. It loops around there. It comes back. It's going to come back along this road. Uh, it's not going to those guys just yet. We can fix that. It's going to come into here. It's going to come all the way down to here. It's going to go to here. And then it doesn't actually look back in itself too badly. So that's, uh, it could be worse. That definitely could be worse. So we'll complete that line. We'll go in. We can make sure it has a nice name. So it's going to be line number uh, 11 and it's going to be regional industry is what we're going to go for. So line number 11, regional industry. We're going to make it sort of a yellowy-ish kind of color, sort of orangey, goldy yellow is perfectly fine. And then I need to go and add it to the stops that I missed. So it comes out. It loops around there. That's fine. It is then going to have a little stop put into it right through here. So I need it to go there. It's then going to come out to there. So it still doesn't loop back in itself too badly, which is absolutely perfect. I don't mind that at all. That's that's actually OK. And that should be that should be fine is what I'm thinking. That that really should be OK. Have we managed to max out the employees? So 24 of 28, it might take a second. It might not work at all. There might not be enough employees for this place. It needs well-educated employees and it's struggling. 22 of 25 and 35 of 39. So it's it's getting there. It's just probably going to take a while. I have to wonder if I was to spend some of these development points that we have on getting things like a nuclear power plant or geothermal, we could potentially export a whole lot more. And honestly, I have been thinking much in the way that we built an entire space for garbage processing, water recycling. We probably should do something similar for power as well. So I think with that in mind, I'm going to get the emergency battery station. Because I think that might be a good idea. It leads us towards these guys. We could get the hydroelectric plant as well. Start building a dam somewhere. I don't know that I want to do that just yet, but I do want geothermal. I think that's a good shout and I'm going to go for coal and I'm going to go for nuclear. That leaves us one development point left, which I'm willing to sit on because I want to have a look at just how big these places are. So we have, let's see, this is our small coal power plant, pretty large. This is our battery station. This is our larger coal power plant. It is, it's friggin' huge. This is our geothermal plant, which is honestly not too bad. It needs groundwater, which is interesting. So this will produce 150 megawatts of power, which is not too bad, actually. I have to wonder. I mean, we're not exporting as much as we as we could be. I'm wondering if this can be maxed out at some point, because if it can, then we can export probably two or three times as much as we're doing right now. And then the nuclear plant is also huge. It's also five million dollars. It's uh, a million a month as well. So I don't know that we can afford that one. But I do, I do have to wonder if it would be worth building another plant so that, ooh, we're actually having some power problems. I have to wonder if it would be worth building a plant so that we can maybe export more and do a bit better. Now, when it comes to these power problems, it's the cables, once again, having a bit of a, uh, a bit of an issue. And don't we have, we do have a transformer here, which I guess is not doing enough for us. So we'll just build ourselves another transformer somewhere. And hope for the best. Now, does this have uh, noise pollution? It has low levels of noise pollution. Interesting. Okay. Well, in that case, I'd love to build it back there. I don't think it's going to let me, though. I can build it on this side, actually. Which, I'll tell you what, that's, that's what we're going to do. We'll go underground with these cables. Bring them... Actually, we'll just go straight up with them. It's a little bit easier. And now that should resolve the... Yeah, the bottlenecks are gone which is absolutely fantastic. Oh, and just as an interesting note, the regional industry line had 26 vehicles. It can have up to 52. There are 16 passengers on it. There's 10 passengers on it. There's nine stops. It's a 27.9 kilometer line. Honestly, 13 buses is too much for this. I, 
I kind of wish you could just customize this to say how much you want rather than it being sort of a minimum and maximum number. It, it would be great if I could say just put like two buses on the line because there's not even enough passengers to even quarter fill one of the buses, but I guess that's just how it is. We're also running into this problem with there not being enough customers again, which I don't know if this is the bug is back or if this is like a me thing, but it does seem to be every single commercial building in the city. Now, admittedly, we do have demand for low density residential a little bit for medium, so it might be a case of needing to just build more stuff, but I, 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 I don't really know. I've also realized this complaint here was not enough vehicles for the cargo railway route. Really? That's a weird one. How are there no vehicles for the cargo railway route? That's that's very strange. That is very, very strange. I don't I don't know how I feel about that. Again, we're getting some abandoned buildings around here, which isn't great. You are unhappy about education, which again makes sense. These guys don't have a school nearby. Well, they have this one, but it's not enough. Anyway, we need more elementary schools. We need to solve this not enough customers thing. We have all of this expanded industry, which I absolutely love. Production is okay. It could be better. It's uh, it's not great, but I'm I'm enjoying that we have these guys out here. I think it's a cool use of the space. Probably wasn't going to expand the city out here anyway. We'll probably expand the suburb this way a little bit. Maybe get a, a connection to the suburb on this highway might not be a bad idea. That would be that would be interesting. That would definitely be interesting. I think we'll also expand the suburbs into this space, into this space, probably out into this valley. Actually, suburbs all along this highway would be really cool. Maybe all the way down here as well. This this main chunk of land might be the bulk of the city. I don't know. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. I'm probably planning a little too far ahead. There's so much still to do. Either way, thank you so much for watching, everybody. It has been an absolute pleasure as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Well, bye.